Hey everyone, this is Rundakran, and this one is for Panda Jacqueline again. She requested another thing. She actually wanted to know how to catch zombies. I don't know if there's actually a specific way to catch zombies, but I think this is my way of doing it, so obviously you're going to need something to keep them in. So what I, the way I went with is I'm going to make a bunch of fences, and so... Um, do this. This is how you make a fence. And also, if you want to go in, I don't know if you're going to be visiting your zombie. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know your life. Anyway, there's some fences. That's how you make those. And the gate. Okay, so I already have a bunch ready. So you're going to need this. You're going to need a bunch of dirt. So, let's get rid of all this junk. So, okay, you might, you're probably wondering what the dirt and fence and gate is for. Um, so what you do, you're going to want to build this up, build it up about three high, I think that's probably good. And then you do this, just make a nice little platform there, okay, and it doesn't need to be too high. So, and you can make this however big, however large, whatever big you want. <laughs> okay, so anyway, now you look under where your thing is. So that's the corner, and that's the corner, and that's the corner, and finally, that's the last corner. Okay, so, oh crap, I'm terrible at this. That's the corner. Anyway, you do that. And then you do this, this, finish it up, and then I left a space there, it is that's for the gate. And then you do this. And actually, if you really want to, you can do a gate in the middle. Because your zombie is always constantly gonna want to be attacking you. So if you put gates around it, it'll give you a chance to so that's a holding bay for a zombie. Oh, see, this is my friend. He just came to, he wanted to be in it, and I don't know what he's building there, or some, something. But, anyway, you have this, and so, yeah, perfect for, you have these different gates. Okay, so now that you have that, you need a zombie. And, okay, so this shelter, this cover, is for so the zombies won't burn in sunlight. Sorry about the growling. My oh, that's what that is. He he put my wolves in a big block there. Yeah, that's what the growling's coming from. Anyway, I'll have to get those out eventually. But this is to keep the zombies from burning in sunlight. If you're planning on keeping them for longer than night, which you probably will if you're catching them. So you have these two holding bays. You can make it however big you want. So yeah, now we need a zombie, so I'm going to cut tonight when there's zombies out and we'll get one in there. Get rid of this block, okay, anyway, come in here, let's get this, and look, stops, you gotta quickly, yeah, see, they'll run around, so if you're willing, you gotta get them in there, and then quickly try to get by, and then fence it in, and there you go. You have zombies in there. I suggest being full food because it'll make it so you heal. And normally you're not being attacked by two zombies if you're trying to catch them. Unless you want to try that. <laughs> but that seemed to work out. Anyway, there's two zombies in there. And let's... I'll cut to morning and show you that they will survive during the day with this little cover on them. They won't burn up. And... You can actually do this anywhere. It works better if you have a bigger cage because it gives you more area to run around the zombie to close your gate back up. But I have gates on all sides just in case I want to quickly run over, hop through the gate, go in, and just... But And then I have another fence in here, so if you open this up, you can actually go in there. And yeah, you just pretty much do whatever you want. I like the divider thing because you can come in here, you're secure and you can actually go in there without having to actually fully let them out so that works out quite well um, 
Yeah, I'll skip today to show you what it's like having zombies out in the day in our little cage. This works in anything. I could put them in my house if I wanted. Um, you just have to have a cage. Doors could work too. Just have a one-sided door with a pressure plate. I might do one of those sometimes. That might work. I've never tried it, but yeah, here's the zombies and I'll jump to the day. Okay, everyone, as you can see, it's daytime now, and these zombies are still alive. And actually, while I was, while I was waiting, um, yeah, that skeleton's a jerk. Anyway, while I was um, waiting for it to become day, I went and caught myself a skeleton. And these guys are turds. Like, if you walk by their gate, you have to actually make it too high so they can't shoot you. But if you want to, like, be able to walk by their gate safely, you actually have to put a door on this instead of just like a normal gate because they'll they'll shoot you they have some crazy accuracy and stuff so as you can see he even shot me from over here like I was standing I can stand over here he'll shoot the zombies and try to get me he'll shoot me here so it's a good idea to even if it's next to the zombie cage put something up oops that's a gate anyway put like cave walls up around yeah he's skeletons are ruthless but anyway that's that's my skeleton and zombies in their cage, and they will not burn up. Um, if you're going to catch a skeleton, I suggest putting it somewhere other than... Yeah, I don't know. I don't suggest catching skeletons, actually. They're just, they're just terrible creatures. They're pretty cool, though, to have. But yeah, you have to look at him. This is like a little prison for my skeleton. But that's how you catch zombies and skeletons. They won't burn in daylight. And if you're worried about it, just you can, you can go all out and do a whole nother extra layer around it. And um, skeletons are actually easier to catch because once you just have to get them in there, close off this one, and just walk around them, and they'll stay there and just try to shoot you. So you can easily close the gate. But zombies, like you know, you probably want armor. I'm wearing some diamond. I wasn't wearing it actually when I was making me catching them that was a bad move on my part but it's a lot easier with armor make sure you have a lot of food so you're not getting so you're not getting killed by these guys um, zombies don't to do too much damage so this should be easy if you get too close they actually can hit you though so but they usually won't because there's I don't know they're just they're just not like that they're nice little guys so yeah he'll he'll stand there you now we have a zoo of zombies here, and a skeleton, our rare species. Oh, see, he even shot me past the door. Anyway, that's how you catch zombies and skeletons. Wow, I hate that guy. I'm probably going to kill him. Anyway, that's for... That's for catching... Um, I highly suggest not catching creepers. Because obvious reasons. I don't know if I'm... I, I don't... I hope I don't need to explain that, but you would need a massive cage for them, and you just, I don't know, catching one of those would just be really hard, because, yeah, you'd need like a one-way door like this, and you just have to quickly go through, close it, and the creeper would be yours, but you'd actually have to have a door there and a door on the other side, quickly open it, let the creeper in close the other one. I don't, I don't know how it would work, actually. The creepers would be smart and just walk out, so... If you catch creeper, send me a video of you catching and stuff. I want to see this, so... Yeah, that's how I caught some zombies and a skeleton, and let me know what you think. Rate, comment, yeah. There you go.